Hello, hello, it's Cordon, and welcome to a new episode of Winning the Weekly. This week is Green Blood on the week for April 28th, 2023. And I'm going to go over the perks of this weekly, or the modifiers of this weekly, and uh, what I think is a good winning draft and what got me through the game pretty easily. So uh, let's go in, create a new game, go to the weekly modifiers and see what we're working with. And the first thing you're going to notice is the theme this week is Lethal Poison, where Poison does 50% more damage but loses all charges at the end of turn. This is a trap. Do not build Poison on all your characters. You will have a bad time. Because you will run into Poison immune enemies. If you're taking Corruptors, they're going to get immunity to Poison very often. So just don't build for Poison. Our general goal is going to be uh, building Sylvie for Sharp and doing it that way. And Thule is a secondary DPS, while Gustav heals and Andrin does tank stuff. Overcharged monsters, all monsters have plus one to charges. This is not that big of a deal, but it's a big deal on monsters that do shackle and things like that. So the second boss will shackle everybody, so keep that in mind. One thing to note about shackle is that when it happens, you can uh, use a card that gives evasion and it'll just fall the shackle off of you. So keep Evasion cards are good. Impending Doom shouldn't really matter because you're not going to be going until turn 10 or 12. And Spiritual Monsters resistances are higher, which is pretty bad for Gustav DPS, but not really for anybody else. And then Wealthy Heroes, every hero begins with an additional 300 shards in gold. And also Poverty, which is kind of funny that these two are together. But you'll start out with a lot of gold, you won't get as much from rewards, so keep that in mind. Alright, before we draft, I'm going to go over the uh, four characters capstone cards as usual, so let me get that up here. And first of all, we got Andrew, and let me get my face out of there. Uh, he's got a lot of good choices. I usually like going Fencer, Reaver, or Bard, because Acrobatic Strike is really good for tanking. It's much better than Parry. His Fortify is not really mattering that much, but getting ev additional evasion stacks is uh, a lot more than just uh, being able to keep your block till next turn. Music Sheet's pretty good for uh, just being versatile, and Eternal Lullaby is one of my favorite cards because it's just almost always enough speed control that your team's going to get an extra turn before the enemies. Gustav's got a lot of choices. He can go Eternal Lullaby, he can go Music Sheet for the versatile song spell discovery. Scald is really great for the evasion, inspire, and a little bit a buffer. And you also get a choice between a smoke bomb up there in the top right with the first random pack because a uh, smoke bomb is extremely good for keeping everybody alive and I believe Gustav is the slowest character so you will automatically be able to use that at the end of turn to prevent a lot of damage from enemies. Sylvie, there's really only one choice for her, I think, this weekly, and that's going to be the ninja pack for the Corrupted Fan and Ice, because that will carry you through most of the encounters. General strategy is to use Camouflage and uh, Falcon Shot on the first turn, and do it the opposite order so you get the stealth for the uh, big Fan and Ice hit. So Falcon Shot, Camouflage, Fan and Ice when you can do it, and just build your sharp up as high as possible. Thules, I also think there's only one good choice, and that's going to be this uh, weapon cache for two. You get three free small weapons, and a lot of times those are saw blades, poison daggers, and sharpening knives, which are really good with his Black Talons level 2 talent. So, let me toss this aside, and let's get to the actual draft. Andrew and I said uh, Fencer, Bard, and... Uh, Reaver are all good. Reaver's got a deflect, a scavenge, and a hit and run, so we'll take that. And then we'll go uh, this way. We'll get this trace and explorer, so it'll help our Sylvie DPS do a lot better. And then this second random pack is, looks pretty good, but that last Requiem is going to be a dead card in like 99% of cases. Last reward's pretty good, but we don't have any big cards that we want to last reward out. So I think the choice is actually either Hunter if you want to do more DPS, 
or bard if you want to uh have a second healer which that isn't always bad in this case and we are probably going to go with reaver here for the tank ability and then i usually do speed i don't go for this block since i'm going to make him a second healer i want to go vitality so uh, vitalizing serenade if we pick one up is going to do extra 5 hp and there's also a fishing rod that you can get that's pretty good on him for giving uh, extra HP. Or you can go powerful because you are also getting a war banner to start. So that war banner actually might be best on him. Uh, you can really go anyway with him. We can just go full tank ability with the HP and the resistances too. So yeah, this is a pretty good build. Don't need to change that at all. Sylvie, we know we want Ninja first, so we'll lock that in. And then the other two things we're going to be looking for is Camouflages and anything that uh, works well. There's no second Camouflage on Hunter. We're going to go Rogue for this free setup because uh, that'll help us get out on our combo faster of Camouflage into kind of nice, which is going to be great. So with that, you'll want to do Sharp, Stealth, Speed. And uh, let's see. Uh, bleed can work okay. Sight can work okay. But we're just going to go HP for a little more survivability. Also, piercing damage isn't bad either. Gustav, we definitely want to lock in Chain of Accuracy for Sylvie buffing. Never Ending Story is pretty fun. But uh, let's see. Gustav, Capstone cards. I think we'll re-roll the bard and go for the music sheet. And then we'll also get this uh, trace here and detection. Because uh, detection is pretty cool, as is another trace. And we'll take this music sheet. The cool thing about music sheet is it is a book card. So if you find a quill or a quill pen or a fountain pen, you can use this to uh, trigger that. So that's a good weapon for Gustav. All right, definitely take the Vitality, Sharp, Speed, and we'll go HP. We don't really need the healing done or the regen, but you can take it for safety. But I think there's enough healing through the Vitality and whatnot to get through it. And Thules, we definitely want to lock in that for Scoundrel. Go for, let's see here. Faint doesn't really do anything, it's just 10... Then dual strike's pretty good. Yeah, we'll get take a dual strike. We might actually take the same for Dexterous. There a reason not to. We get a second chain of accuracy. Ah uh, no, we'll take the random pack as well. And we definitely want this scoundrel. Sharp and stealth always good in dual speed. And we'll get powerful because his melee attacks are going to be triggering uh his level 2 trait. Or his level 3 trait, I guess. Uh, I'm going to put the fishing rod on Andrin. I said I was going to take the war banner, but I lied. Because I think the war banner is better on Thules. Because we're getting the plus vitality on Andrin. I'm going to put the dagger here, and I'm going to put the emerald necklace here. Because the sooner we can get Gustav moving above Syl faster than Sylvie, the better she'll be. And then we'll just go ahead and do a fight up here and show you how it works. I'll go ahead and take the Corruptor too. Yeah. You might want to consider also not putting the speed into Sylvie so she can go after Gustav. But I guess it's a little bit late. But we'll go ahead and start. Expert Tracker, get rid of everything but Falcon Shot and set up so we can build to our combo. Actually, I think I'm going to do this. Hunter's Mark. Scavenge. Put the Hunter's Mark back on top. Scavenge. Hunter's Mark at the back, since it's also probably the most resistant. And play an annoying whistle. And we get our combo here. So, Falcon Shot something. Camouflage. Fan of Ice is going to do 30 to everything, and also apply a bit of poison, which is going to pop off on them. 
Let me pass the turn. Don't want them getting more thorns. We can do a uh, music sheet first just to see what we get. Uh, Chain of Accuracy will be good to put on Thules. Power Slave. Whispering Lies will finish that off. And then we can just heal Sylvie up. And Trace Thules as well. Look for that hip weapon cache. Just what we wanted. I'm going to keep that sneaky strike there. Oh, this is a great hand. So we first get rid of the weapon, or go through the weapon cache. Killer Instinct for the 5 powerful 3 stealth. And then we uh, backstab. Saw blade. And a poison dagger, and that's just pretty much how every combat should go for you. Gustav will be uh, doing a good job healing once he levels up. That blade flurry is extremely nice. Race, we don't really need it for ourselves. And then uh, through the level up traits, I'll just go over those quick. Usually Wild Hunt, Momentum, Repost, Mark for Death, Sylvie, I usually do Target Shooting, Range Mastery, Double Shot for the uh, extra Sharp bonus, and then Sharp plus two. Open Agility might be pretty good too, since you will be uh, stacking more Sharp on yourself. Gustav, usually Melodic Rhythm, Fanfare, Encore, and then Choir. Tools, of course, Black Talons, Momentum, Hidden Hand or Deadly Strikes, both are good, and then Wide Sleeves. Deadly Strikes is pretty good because of the, uh, it's going to be your only, or one of your rare sources of Vulnerable, so you might want to take a uh, Vulnerable on Thules during the draft. But yeah, that'll be it. Y'all have a good time, brush your teeth, do well, enjoy your card back if you get it, and if you're having problems, do let me know. Peace.